All right, hello, Venice Silver Kyle, and today I'm going to be unboxing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, the Collector's Edition, on the Nintendo Switch. I also have the Amiibo, uh, the Link Amiibo. I have not picked up one of these in years, but I thought with Tears of the Kingdom, this is a good time to do it because uh, the, the ones that were for Breath of the Wild actually gave you items that were quite useful inside the game, whereas most of the time an Amiibo is just like, hey, here's a cool little figurine and adds something stupid to the game. Breath of the Wild did it right. And by the looks of it, you do get some nice items. You could even get some kind of rare item. So we'll do a separate video for this, I think, because uh, I just want to kind of focus on the collector's edition. I wish I would have gotten the Breath of the Wild collector's edition, but I'm happy I got this. And um, I didn't expect to get it today, which is Monday after the release. Um, so a few days after release, I couldn't wait. I bought the digital version. I'm getting really bad at that. I've done it twice now where I pre-order a game and I don't get it right away. I should just go to these actual like a GameStop or a Best Buy or Walmart and pre-order it there and just go get it. But that would make a lot more sense. I live in Canada though, so a lot of times, you know, half of the half the games come out in winter and I don't want to drive and that crap because I actually where I live is a relatively small town, so I have to drive to a different city about half an hour away. Give or take 40 minutes. Anyway, let's dive in. I'm also liking I will do a video on it because at the very beginning, I was hot and cold with Tears of the Kingdom, but I've played enough now that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very much liking it. I, I still think Breath of the Wild is better, but I, I got to play more to really figure that out. There's a few things that, yeah, I'll, I'll do in a separate video, but I'm very much enjoying my time right now with Tears of the Kingdom. I'm very happy that even though I only had an extra weekend with it, that is, I decided to get it a bit earlier. It was worth it, in my opinion. All right, so we've got two things here. Let's take a look. I believe this is going to be the game in the steelbook. I'm so happy that they give us not only a steelbook, but the actual game as well in this... in its actual package, because I hate having on the shelf just this. I like having these separate, but I want to have an actual physical copy of... Tears of the Kingdom. So let's do an unboxing of this because this looks really nice too. That new game smell already apparent. So you need to break that seal. I should have cut this a little bit better. There we go. I do like this cover quite a bit. The thing with this game is that the art style and the colors pop so much that I wish it was like this the entire time because there's a lot of fog I find in the game, which is too bad because it's such a beautiful game. So obviously, uh, one player, all that jazz, E for everyone. I would have thought this was teen. Is Breath of the Wild? I don't know anymore. Some artwork. This, I mean, this is kind of, I kind of like what's going on here because that I've played the game, so I know a little bit the hieroglyphics. I'll put that back in its case afterwards. Now, as far as steel books go, this one, oh, you can barely see. Trying to get it to focus. It will not. There's writing there, though. 
it's just even if I press it, it doesn't want to. You can kind of, there you go. Jeez, that was difficult. Eh, this is kind of man to me. I, I would have preferred something more, more colorful. That's why I'm really glad that we did get the phys regular physical game because that's such a much like if you compare these two. Ugh, this one wins 100 times over. And kind of the same thing. You open it up. I'm just going to put that back. And it's the sleeve. All right, so that's layer number one. I think, believe these are pins. I didn't think I'd really care for these, but this is nice. Hmm. Pretty happy with those. Slide back in nicely as well. And now I believe there's two last items. No, geez, there's more layers. Okay, we're going to take a look at this at the very end, because uh, this to me is like the coup de gras of everything. <laughs> Layer number three. Iconic poster instructions. What? Why? All right. My goodness, what, what? Oh, because yeah, okay, I, I kind of get it. It's a really fancy poster, isn't it? I mean, it's not the biggest poster. So it's metallic. Did not know that. That's pretty nice. And I guess there's some stuff in here too. Print it, uh, but and it sticks to it. Okay. Let's put that away for now because I want to take a look at the art book. So just to kind of briefly fill up the time here, because I should have just used my knife. I thought I would just plow through it instead. Dumb idea. Um, I had a harder time with the opening in the sense that I wasn't really liking the opening level. The starting area. And as soon as I was done the starting area and I went back to the surface, that's where 
everything that I wanted from this game started to appear again. It felt like Breath of the Wild, which is exactly what I wanted. And I've, I'm, I'm very much enjoying the game now. Some people might love the starting area. I can totally see that. But for me, it was um, as soon as I got to the surface world. Bunch of character designs. I don't think I'm going to go through every page. I need to get that. I know what that is. And I want that so badly. That suit. All right, let's start skipping just a bit. That looks like the main town. I've been to places that I shouldn't have been because I wanted to get specific items. It's been fun. It's been scary. This is really neat. I really like those. I don't want to specify what they are in case of, because of spoilers, but oh, it's they work really well. It, it's a very fluid motion using those. That's pretty cool too. I like that. Haven't seen that suit or armor yet. That's nice. Just gonna try to skim through the last little bit. I would like to get that original suit again as well. Those guys are, I like them quite a bit. I just don't want to spoil anything right now. So that's why I'm not really talking too much about everything. When I do my review, I'll, I'll try to have a generic and then I'll go into a little bit of spoilers from what I've played as well. Have that. I'm not using it anymore though. And there you have it. Over 200 pages for the art book. So that is... The Legend of Zelda, I was going to say Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, Collector's Edition. I can't wait to dive back into this. I'm going to be doing uh, as well a unboxing of this. I'll probably have this out tomorrow. So thank you all for watching. You have been bearded in. Beardage!